my name is Josh Donahue, the founder and co-owner of Argos Dog Workspace right here in Atlanta, Georgia. And today we're going to talk about this idea of sudden dog aggression. Today I'm going to show you a video of a client that we're working with. The dog's name is Brody and he is a dog who is super friendly, loves people, never had an aggressive bone in his body and um, this is just kind of our first greeting and us getting to know each other and him loving me up just a little bit. Check it out. Okay, I pulled a fast one on you. This dog is actually very aggressive when it comes to humans. But he's actually never bitten anybody because the owner is so awesome that she makes sure that if he's ever in a situation where it's likely that he might feel pressure enough to use his teeth on somebody, he's muzzled up and everybody is safe. Now, I know that seemed crazy and it seemed like it kind of came out of nowhere, but I guess what I'm really curious to know is did you see it coming? So just at home, ask yourself, did I know that was coming? Did I feel a little bit edgy? Or did it really surprise me? And today I wanna to show you what those key things are so that hopefully you can be a little bit better informed next time. Also, if your dog at home has these similar aggression issues where it seems like, man, they just snap, they just come out of nowhere and they try to bite, then you can watch this video and compare it to what you've seen your dog do and see there's a lot of little things in there that you might be missing. So I'm gonna play this video again, and then I'm gonna sort of unpack each detail of where all of the multiple, I'm talking about multiple warning signs Brody was giving that says he felt too much pressure before the bite actually comes, so you can see them too. Here we go. So if Brody could talk, he might say something kind of like this. Check one, hey, you just turned into me, dude, and I'm giving you a stink eye because I'm just a little uncomfortable with that. I don't know why you did it. Check two, man, I'm giving you a stare down now and my whole body language is stiff. I need you to know that this facing me is a little too much pressure and I can't handle it. Check three, touch you, bump you. Dude, I just told you this is too much. You gotta give me some space. I don't wanna deal with this, look away. Man, uh, check four, this is it, bro. I'm really close to the end of my rope. If you don't back off, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Please back off, back off, wham. So here's just a general idea that you always need to keep in the back of your mind. Dogs communicating, their physical communications, are very subtle. And sometimes they're so subtle, it's almost impossible to see unless you know that specific dog really well and you know exactly what to look for. Not all dogs, when they are feeling pressured or they're feeling like they need to act aggressively, will do the whole like, and then like, and like, you know, kind of go to that whole place. A lot of them, sometimes it's just as little as a quick, flick of the eyes, you know? It could be that, it could be they just kind of, as they're walking, they just get a little bit stiff, and then that's sort of their big cue. And any other dog in their world should read that and understand it and keep their distance. But if they don't, um, they're gonna let them know. So remember, dogs are gonna give you a lot of clues to know that they're feeling a little bit too much pressure. You just need to give them room. But if you're not looking for those signals, you're gonna miss them, and then it's gonna look like your dog just bit somebody out of nowhere. I can't tell you how many people I'll talk to on the phone that will say, no, it looked like my dog wanted to be petted. It looked like they wanted affection, just like Brody looked like he wanted affection in this video. And then all of a sudden they just snapped. All of a sudden they just went and bit my friend or they bit our neighbor or they bit you know our guest that just walked into the house. I've never seen it happen before. I've never seen it coming. This is just a video to show you that there's always a step one, two, three, four, because I can promise you, your dog isn't just being aggressive for no reason. They're not just doing it out of nowhere. I can promise you they have a very legitimate reason for doing it, and they've probably been decent enough to say, step back, step back, step back, step back. But because we as humans live in such a busy world where there's so much going on in our brain, I gotta get the dry clean, I gotta go grocery shopping, gotta pick up the kids, we forget to pay attention to those little nuances, those little details, those really specific things. We become less present 
because we're so noisy up here. And that is one of the things that makes us the most disconnected with our dogs. So aggression does not come out of nowhere. It is not something that just randomly happens. Your dog doesn't just bite for no reason. And hopefully this video helps you see a little bit more detailed version of that. My name is Josh Donahue. I'm the founder and co-owner of Argos Dog Works. I hope you enjoyed this video. We've got even more coming your way. And if you have any questions, go visit us at www.argosdogworks.com. Catch y'all later. Bye-bye. If you're struggling with a dog who has aggression issues or any behavioral issues, you don't have to go it alone. Learn more about our state-of-the-art training programs by visiting our website, argosdogworks.com. There is hope and there is a way.